Hey guys, it's me, B, and I'm back with another video. Um, so today we're gonna be doing something that I haven't actually done before, so it's kinda gonna be an experiment. But my friend's birthday is coming up, and she really wanted a customized notebook. And she recently got a pet named Oscar, um, so I was going to um, make her notebook with that says like Oscar on it for the name of her pet. So. Um, I'm going to paint over this cover. I might make it black. I don't know. Um, I got this notebook at Hobby Lobby. Um, I can leave a link to it down below. But it's just your typical line notebook. Um, my plan, who knows, I'm actually going to stick to it. But just to give you an idea of what I'm thinking is I'm going to sand the cover to help the paint stick. Then I'm gonna use acrylic paint because that's all I got. And then after I've put on a base coat of either white or black, which will be determined later, <laughs> um, I will then like, I wanna put like Oscar here and then I'm debating or not if I can put like ripped paper, but I'm kind of afraid that would fall off. And then afterwards I'm gonna put a layer of Mod Podge matte, most likely over the entire thing. Um, I'm also not entirely sure if I wanna do something on the back or just leave it plain. So we'll see. Oh, the brand of this is Paper Studio, which I think is the brand like Carry at Hobby Lobby. I'll leave a link to it down below if I can find it. And I'll also try to leave a link to all other supplies I use in this video. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so um, I actually don't think I'm going to sand it because I don't think it needs it, but we'll, we'll find out sooner or later. <laughs> so um, right now I'm just using uh, Master Touch Acrylic White Paint. Um, I also got that at Hobby Lobby. So, yep. I'm being very careful not to get any of the paint on the pages. So before you start painting, I should have mentioned this earlier, but you want to make sure you wipe down your notebook, whether it's with a Clorox wipe or soap and water, just to make sure you get all like the stuff off of it so that when you paint it it's not trapped underneath um also if you don't want to get paint on the pages you can slide in a piece of paper in between the cover of the notebook and the first page i probably should have done that but yeah and the final thing i want to say is i'm sorry if you hear any background noise um i had to film this in my basement uh and it's really noisy down there okay so i painted over it twice you can still kind of see the bow but i don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal um because i am gonna put some stuff over it even if it's not on this exact spot and then i'm also gonna paint so i think it's gonna be okay um i didn't sand it and it seems to have sticked just fine i didn't want to paint the back because i felt like that was kind of a waste of um paint and I didn't really like they were similar enough to the same color so I don't think it's that big of a deal but just to make it seamless I'm probably gonna put something like here like a binding of some sort um I'm thinking like brown I don't know I don't know <laughs> we'll see you later um so I think I'm just gonna sketch out here and then I'm planning on doing like some newspaper and book pages like at the top um i mentioned this in my previous video but i basically just use acknowledgement pages because i don't like ripping pages on a book so i just rip out the acknowledgement pages um but you can also buy a super cheap book at like a thrift store use that that might also have some age look to it which might look nice but yeah let's just get into it sorry if um, i'm out of screen for part of this i didn't really realize until later so anyway, I started by freehanding it and realized that's not going to work. So I took up my ruler, drew a line of where I wanted it to be, and then just started writing the letters. I didn't get it on the first go, so I just kind of like worked with it. And then because it was like paint, I just darkened it with my pencil so that I really knew like what I wanted the letters to look like. Um, if you don't have the best handwriting, you can ask someone else to write it for you or you can like print out letters and trace them or what you could do is just print out letters and use those instead of like paint and do like a collage of some sort but yeah the s was really giving me a struggle i i took me forever to be satisfied with it and i honestly am still not satisfied with it but yeah that's what i did i planned out how i want oscar to look and now i'm going to do the embellishing part so I kind of want to have like a line up here 
sorry, like this. And then, but I don't know, there's like these holes in like all the newspapers. So maybe, oh wait, what if I do this? But I really don't want the text going that way. So this supply is not mandatory, but I will be using an X-Acto knife. Um, if you use an X-Acto knife, uh, please be careful. Uh, if you're underage, have permission from an adult. Uh, I don't really know what safety regulations are with exacto knives, but be responsible. Don't do anything stupid. Stuff like that. <laughs> okay, I don't want anyone to cut their fingers off. That would not be good. So if you lightly score it with your exacto knife, you can get. You can kind of predict how it's going to cut, which is nice if you want that control. If you don't want it, obviously, you don't have to do it. Um, I made sure to leave some hangover because I think I'm going to have to glue it on the inside to make sure it really stays. So, we'll do that and then... You could obviously do whatever you want, but I'm vibing with this. I really like it. So, this is what I'm gonna do. Okay. Let me get some Mars Podge and let's do this thing. Ew, I can't open it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Look at me in my. Oh, that's crusty. Blah. This is what happens when you don't use your Mars Podge. <laughs> So I'm using satin, however I would recommend using matte. Which one, or the non-sticky one. I don't quite recall which one's not sticky, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna give any advice and get, tell you to use the wrong one. But I recommend using one that is not tacky, um, since this is gonna go out into the world. Uh, if there's a durable Mod Podge, I'd use that. Although I have no idea and I don't feel like buying Mod, new Mod Podge, so. Yeah, we're gonna work with this. <laughs> uh, if you don't have Mod Podge, uh, don't fret. You can use uh, Elmer's glue. Uh, it's not as protective because, you know, it's school glue. Um, but it'll still get the job done. And at the end of the day, is not really what you need. In short, what I'm doing is I'm just laying down a base coat of Mod Podge. And then I am putting the newspaper on top. Um, once I've put down like a complete layer, um, that way it just helps the page stick. And then I'm putting another layer of glue on top of the newspaper. Because newspaper is really thin, the glue will seep through the page and it's just really going to help bind it. Um, but yeah, this is, I think this works the best. Um, if you do paper mache, you could do it that way as well. But you don't really need that much glue since it's just going on a notebook. <laughs> with going over areas that I'm not putting paper on because in the end when I'm done I'm gonna mod podge the entire thing just so there's some consistency and also to seal in the paint I'm gonna do okay that's on woohoo oh there's some bubbles so I'm just gonna rub over them like this with my finger but then I have to go back over with the mod podge because that rubs the mod podge away mod mod podge mod can't even say it anymore. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this gray purple. So I'm using this, it's like super thin paintbrush. If you can see that, very thin. Um. So let's hope it works. Just 
disclaimer right now i'm like not really good at painting well, if you've seen my previous painting videos you know exactly what i'm talking about but i'm just gonna give it my all and um yeah i kind of feel like singing the song when you try your best but you don't succeed <laughs> that's kind of how i'm feeling right now but it's okay you're not going to excel at everything and just because you're not good at something doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. I, feel, I know some people have that mentality and I don't really understand why. Because you don't have to be good at something to enjoy it. <laughs> touch up sorry for the background noise i'm in my basement and it's really loud so yeah i'm gonna do that and then i'll probably glue down the sides and yeah one thing i want to note is this turned yellow i don't know why whenever i've used mod podge before it hasn't turned yellow i don't know if it was the graphics on the other side or what i'm gonna turn yellow i'm not entirely sure how i feel about it kind of annoyed but Oh, I'll see. This one didn't, so I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it some more later, but okay. Anyway, I'm gonna work on this. Okay, let's get on with it. <laughs> Once I finished touching up the letters, um, I decided to work on the inside of the notebook. Um, so I started off by first just cutting off some extra paper, and then I put down a layer of Mod Podge, um, as you can see me doing right now. Um, so I put down that layer similar to how I did it on the cover, and then after I put down a decent sized layer, um, I folded the pages over and then put another layer on top. Um, because some of these pages were already hardened because of the previous Mod Podge, it required a little bit more Mod Podge to keep them down. Um, the thicker the paper you use, the harder it is going to be to make them stay down. Like the newspaper was pretty easy for the most part, um, and if anything gave me trouble, it was definitely the book pages, just because they're thicker. So that is something you might want to keep in mind when you are um, choosing your papers. Okay, so, sorry for the glare. Okay, um, so I did a layer of Mod Podge over it, um, and just to seal in the paint and just to make sure that the paper doesn't fall off, I ended up not putting anything on the spine because it was pretty clean. So I didn't think it really mattered that much. This is what it looks like. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I'm still a little bit annoyed about the yellow, but, I mean, there's really nothing I can do about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you customize your own notebook, let me know. Um, I have an Instagram account. Uh, it's it's Mimi underscore art. So, if you want to check it out, um, feel free. And if you tag me in one of your posts of you making your own notebook, I will definitely look 
at it and um, I'll showcase them in my next video. So, oh, also, I'm sorry I didn't post last week. Um, things were really busy, so I'm back this week, though. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.